So your kids are away, they've gone to the other parent's house, they're on a trip, and you're wondering, what should I do? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you six strategies of how to tackle this time on your own. Let's get started. The first thing I wanna acknowledge is that when your kids are away, you might not be feeling great. I hear all the time, oh, you must be so happy you get that time to yourself. I bet you just love it. No, I don't. So if you're like me, when your kids are away, you might be feeling sad, lost, depressed, anxious, worried, aimless, unmotivated, or exhausted. I wanna let you know that these are all totally normal reactions to being out of your regular routine, not having your children to care for, and generally getting a chance to just be yourself. When we're single parenting, we are on all the time. We're either working or taking care of our kids all the time. So this chance to just level out isn't always met with this like, yeah, I'm gonna get stuff done, woohoo! So tip number one is be gentle. Be gentle with yourself. Be compassionate and understanding that if you're having these feelings, it's normal and it's okay. Step number two is be curious. Approach this as a scientific study. How are you feeling on a day-to-day -day basis? What coping strategies do you turn to? What's your go-to time-wasting device? When do you feel the worst and when do you feel the best? Are there certain parts of the day that are harder? What helps you feel better? What makes you feel worse? Just start noticing. Over the weeks and months to come, this time away from your kids will evolve into you actually enjoying the time and getting stuff done and building a life. But in the beginning, just be curious and see what your natural tendencies are. Number three is allow for rest. If you've been in a high conflict divorce or you've been single parenting for a while, it's super likely that your nervous system has been overworked, your adrenals have been overworked, and you've been in some form of fight or flight for an extended period of time. This isn't how the human body and the human nervous system are designed to live. We're supposed to move into fight or flight and then move into a place of no stress. If you're stuck in the one mode for a long time, when you finally have a chance to rest, the requirement for rest is huge. It's so much bigger than it normally would be. So if you're finding yourself exhausted and you just wanna lay around and sleep or rest, know that that's okay and give that to yourself. The fourth tip is map out time of your day that is free of screen. The reasons for this are obvious. Being on our phones or watching stuff on our computer doesn't actually help us feel better. We feel worse, we get caught in loops, we all know what this is. So just set aside time of the day when you're not gonna be on a screen and stick to it. Number five is leave the house once a day. This can be a walk around the block or a trip to the grocery store. Set your expectations really low. It doesn't mean, you know, some big outing. Just get your body out of your home once a day. And tip number six is have contact with another human once a day. So again, you can achieve this just by going for a walk around the block. You're gonna see a neighbor, you can say hello. Uh, go to the grocery store and buy a single item, something nice for yourself. The point here is just that you're not becoming isolated and alone in your tough feelings or alone in your coping mechanisms. Most of us underestimate how tough divorce and single parenting is on us. And when we get this time away from our kids, we have the social pressure, we have all the comments, and you also have pressure that we add onto ourselves about all the things we wanna get done, we make ourselves these huge to-do lists. A more know? compassionate viewpoint is to really understand how exhausting this process is and allow for some lazing about and some not feeling great. When your kids are away, especially if they're with a narcissistic or an abusive other parent, you're not gonna feel great that they're away. You're gonna be worried, you're gonna be knowing that harm is done and you're gonna be anxious about it. And that's okay, we can't change the situation, but what we can do is remove the expectations that we put on ourselves. We can just get rid of the guilt trips and the I'm not doing enough, see you later. And instead we can just be with ourselves where we are in a curious, compassionate, and empathetic way. If you're on your own without your kids for the, one of the first times, 
expect that it's gonna be hard and know that it will get easier. As time moves on, you probably will build your life up to where you're out there doing stuff, ticking off your to-dos, meeting new people and having a great time. Initially though, it might not be like that and that is normal and okay. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to my channel, click like and share it with people you think it's gonna help. Also drop me a comment, I wanna know what you think about this. Let's talk about it. Catch you next time.